All right, guys, this is, I know, kind of a touchy subject for people. It comes up every once in a while, but let's just spill it out there. Graphics are not everything. Look, I know what people are saying, right? I know how you feel about it. You're upset that football manager doesn't have the best graphics in the world. You look at FIFA and you're thinking, maybe that's what I should play, right? I see this from content creators sometimes. They're like, oh, well, I'm not getting the views that I really want to. It must be a problem with the game, right? There must be something wrong with this game that people don't want to watch or whatever, right? Or maybe you're playing the game itself and you're looking at the stadiums and you're like, the stadium sucks, right? What's going on with it? Why are we playing in this dump? You know, this thing looks awful, right? Um, you you know, the graphics just are not what they should be. It's not really a great feel and, and stuff like that. I know how you think. I know what you're thinking. But I'm telling you, graphics and football manager are not as important as you think, right? Now, I, it's not going to be fair of me if I uh, have this video and there's no example of graphics. So we'll look at this from that Alabama match that we lost. Let's go take a look and see what the graphics are like. You'll see it's nothing really to write home about, right? This game is it's a little bit, I would say, more advanced than like sensible soccer on your Super Nintendo, right, back in the days. Right, you can see the players have their own individual animations, they have their own individual movements, they have their own individual ways of responding to things, and um, all of that good stuff, right? Um, it's, it's not an absolute disaster, like some people will tell you, right? There are some people, and I've seen this a lot on Reddit, who will say that, well, the stadiums look better in FM 16, FM 17. I don't know exactly what the match engine itself looked like back then because most of the people who made videos of those games and put them on YouTube were playing in the 2D match engine, not the 3D engine. And there's a reason why. The reason is because for most of us who play this game, like the graphical detail is not really that important. We're more interested in things like the tactics, the management of the players, and uh, the uh, uh, like, the politics that go on in the dressing room and all that other weird stuff. In short, what we're interested in is actual immersion, not just the game looking nice, but we're interested in getting deep into the save and getting deep into a storyline and allowing the storyline to influence you. Now, I'm not like the great guru of football manager on YouTube or of anything on YouTube for that matter, right? But I'm going to tell you that as somebody who watches a lot of this content, I don't care about the graphics. Half the time if I'm watching somebody play a football manager let's play, I'm not even watching the game. I'm listening to it. I'm listening to what they say. I'm listening to how they react because I'm eating lunch or I'm writing a paper or I'm doing something else at the same time and I just want to have that noise on in the background. That's the thing, right? Nobody ever fell in love with championship manager or with the early days of football manager because of what the graphics look like. This is not the game for you if you are really, really obsessed with graphics and making it look good. Do I think that things could be better? Absolutely, and I think that things will improve. I will, however, also tell you that if you go back and you play FM21 or FM20 after playing FM23, you'll see that the graphics have improved and that the animations have improved. In fact, if you go back to FM20, you'll find it a little bit harder first to get back in the flow of things because of some graphical glitches and problems that were in that game even in its final version. So this is a little bit of a rant for me. Apologies for ranting. And as always, I'd love to hear what you think. You can let me know in the comment section if you agree or disagree or whatever. But I'm telling you that in Football Manager, you're very, very short-sighted if you look at the graphics and say, this isn't the game for me or this game's a complete waste. There's a lot of depth to it, and there's a lot of immersion that you're going to miss out on if you judge it just based upon its cover. It really is a great game, and it's a lot of fun. And to be honest with you, I'd much rather watch a Let's Play series in which I get to know the players than watch a series in which I look and ooh and awe at the graphics and at how nice the uh, player's video card is and all this other stuff. I mean, who cares about that? I want to know the story. I want to get to know guys. I want to get to know who Cesar Aldana is and why he has such a stupid bad time against teams he should be ripping apart and stuff like that, right? That's what I really care about. Anyway, just my uh, take on that subject. Love to know what you think about it. Talk to you later. Bye.